follow. So topic of today, hitting from an attachment. Yes, because what you want, if you hit first, you want to keep him with you and now you can hit him from an attachment so you can put him against the shot. So you have collision effect, but it's also uh, that he cannot escape you. So it's going to be you, you, more of, you, more of you finished, right? But sometimes this attachment is also there in a fight if he or the individual grabbed you. And now you need to fight from an attachment. And also, if you fight from an attachment, you fight from a restriction. And if you can fight from restriction, you will grow. Yes, if you can generate impact from this situation, from this distance, then it's for you easy if you have the whole range of motion. Make sense? Yes. So I will find an attachment on T-shirt. Now we'll hit and he will step back. What I not want to do is this. I want to drive forward. Also, when I hit, I want to pull him against the shot so you get collision effect, more impact. So from this position, you get this one, two, three, four. Yes, four hits. Put them against the shot, just that you feel like, wow, is it from an attachment? Make sense? Now I'll go back, let's go. Just to go fuck up your t-shirt. If you don't want to end up naked, you do it from the, from the arm, let's go. But the good shit about t-shirt is that it gives you feedback if you pull against shot. Make sense? So get that in. Put a good shot. Yes, it's my t-shirt anyway. So. <laughs> <My God. laughs> so collision effect is crucial. But let's say we ended up in this range. What can also happen is if I hit grab, that this individual didn't give me ground. So now I need to go to hammer. Hammer. Make sense? Yes. But it can also be from a reactive dynamic. So now I will bring and give you a shorter tool. Let's say. I was not paying attention or I was in denial, trying to de-escalate, all of a sudden this motherfucker is grabbing me. Now, palm strike is still available, but not really the best tool of choice. Now you can work with hammer, make sense? So in this case, I wanna work with only hammer first. So the reactive part is, this individual is grabbing you. Now you wanna attack quick, because if you don't grab, you will attack with a straight or a round. Make sense? But now only first from this position, now the attachment, striking from an attachment, is coming from this direction. And now I just want to go forward, 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 forward. Yes, so now this arm is a barrier, so this makes it a restricted strike. Instead of, make sense? But you can still generate impact from here. That will be in real life, here, here, here. Make sense? I'm not saying that you have to think about it. I would just say, go from restricted strike to as big as you can. Yeah, so and you break every obstacle that's in the way. So now we just showed you a way of restricted strike camera, right? But if you make it as big as you can, so you start with a restricted strike, and maybe another one, and now you can make it big. You can clear this barrier, right? But don't overthink it. Just smash everything that's in your way. So it goes something like this. One, two, smash. See that? The same dynamics, I just want to go from fairly restricted, boom, to as big as I can, bigger, and switch through. You see? And now follow up with the knockout shot. So just see when she's clearing. Now you need to suck it up. It's uncomfortable. Yes? So I get this clear the obstacle, the attachment. Can we do that? Awesome. Instead of her doing this, there's nothing wrong with it, I would suggest just to make bigger hammers. Do not think to smash clear. Makes sense. Just boom, everything that's out of the way, smash it out of the way. This is the first thing you want. Yes, again. Now from this position, I want to get out of this reactive dynamic by attacking. So from this position, you just hit. I directly go to You see what I'm doing? I'm not overthinking. I smash everything clear while I'm hurting this individual. So I will set my eyes closed. I will feel this. And I now know that I need to protect my head, right? Oh, I was cheating a little bit. This is what you have. 
Now directly come back with this. Just clear. Yes. It's not very comfortable for her, but just smash and clear. Yes. So if you think when the individual is hitting you, boom, you can do this cool shit, forget about it. Too complex. Plus, in real life, boom, I now need to protect this head. This head or this hand is occupied, and I will now smash. If she will clear the head now, fine by me. Now I keep on beating. Make sense? So now you will reset her Uda loop. She cannot attack because she's now attacking her. So one more time the whole drill. Grab, hit, smash, 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 clear, smash. So that's not beautiful, well, it's functional. Yes, I grab a boom hit. Yes, so don't think it. As soon as you felt a hit here and you were in time with this, that's already impressive. That's why you always want to keep your hands up. So if you're in this dialogue and I grab and I hit, or say shit, I grab and I hit, straight one, protect the head. Yes, like that. So you present a point for straight forward and you present this. The other hand now is also, so the other side of the jaw is protected because you make the shoulder roll in boxing. Look at this, boom, boom, then I directly retract it. She smashes through, boom, boom, clear, boom, exactly. Make sense? Yeah. So from this cover, you blitz through.